Hey everybody, it's Steve. And if you've been looking to get a smaller show or party laser, you know that there's lots to choose from. And I wanna show you this latest one from K80 that has two things that really set it apart. First, it has a double aperture that lets it project images over a much larger area. And second, you can operate it with an app on your phone that gives you all kinds of control, including creating your own custom text and graphics. And in this video, I want to show you all of its features, including how to control it with the Light Elf control app, as well as DMX control, and then give you a little demo of just how great it looks with its dual lenses and the hazer going. Okay, let's see what comes in this box. It came in this Amazon shipping box. Let's see what's inside. Got a user manual in color. That's pretty nice. Power cord. And the laser. This laser is pretty compact for how much light it puts out. At less than nine inches wide, seven inches deep, and three inches tall. And it's built into this nice black brushed aluminum case that keeps it lightweight at under four pounds. And on the back, there are DMX in and out jacks, menu control buttons and LED screen, cooling fan, power in jack and on off switch. And it comes with an adjustable bracket for hanging it from a truss or T-stand. And on the front, you can see the dual apertures for each of the RGB Galvo scanners that put out a total of 4.15 milliwatts of power, making this a class 3R laser product. And according to my friends at KED, they have redesigned the internal laser mounting structure, which will prevent the color beams from drifting and spreading over time. So let's quickly go through the menu functions, and you'll see that first you can set the DMX starting address up or down, and then you can access different shows, which are actually things that you've created in the app that we'll see in just a minute, but you can access them directly from the menu controls. And then you can set the speed of the animations and you can set the sound active mode on or off. And you can also set the sensitivity of the microphone up or down. One of the features that sets this laser apart is being able to control it with an app on your phone called Light Elf. And it runs on both Apple and Android devices. And it connects with Bluetooth by selecting it here. And I have to say, having had issues connecting to devices with similar apps, this one worked perfectly for me the first time with no problems. This app has nine sections. And the simplest section is a way to set the DMX starting address. Just put it up and down. You can see it updating on the device. These four sections are in the same format. And most lasers like this have both animation and graphic or line effects. So let's look at the animation page. And you'll see that there's loop play and tick play. So in tick play, here's where you select different animations. And when you have one selected, you can adjust the color. Let's keep it in RGB. And if you select more than one, it's gonna cycle between the animations that you've chosen. Let's select these three, and it's just gonna cycle between these three at the speed that you set in this setting here. When you go to loop play, now it's just going to loop through all the animations in the library. In a similar way, when you go to line mode, when you're in tick play, you can pick the individual line graphics. And if you set more than one, it's going to cycle between them. And then there's Christmas graphics. And there's outdoor graphics, and I think these are designed to be projected on the side of a house. 
Okay, now I want to show you the draw mode. When you open it up, you have different tools at the bottom. So let's pick the triangle tool. We'll pick the color yellow. We'll draw a yellow triangle. We'll send it to the laser. And you'll see that you have two yellow triangles because of the dual lens on the laser. There's no way of turning that off that I'm aware of. So every image that you create, it's going to be a double image. Um, let's clear that. We'll pick the freehand tool. I'm going to pick cyan. Let's do that, send that. And this is a way you can kind of get around the double image by creating your own images if you uh, are creative using half the screen. For example, now you can keep adding to this image. So that's my uh, lame little face that I've uh, tried to create there. And then once you've created something, the neat thing is you can save it by clicking this button and then you can name it and you've saved it. And then if you want to open things that you've created, you select the file and there's the face, but uh, let's open up this red triangle. Send that. There's different effects up here. For example, here's this blue and white effect. I'm going to pick the stair step image and send it. You can also create type. So let's clear this. I'm going to enter uh, hello. And you can create horizontal type. Or you can create vertical type. It's going to generate this. OK, let's take a look at how the text module works. So here, you enter in your type. I'm going to type in learn. And there's learn coming across. Now, we have some control over the effects of that um, the speed that it goes across, the size. And these are in real time. The distance between the images. You also can go in and pick uh, different fonts. You see the new one. And what's neat is now you can add a second line. So I'm going to add a uh, lizard. And when we send that, you're going to see the two lines are going to alternate. And here you can see you can set the time for each one of the sequences. And so this module is the program module. And here you can add scenes together and they kind of run in order like a chase. So let's create a new scene and then we'll go in and we'll edit it. And the first thing that you do is you select either an animation or a graphic. So let's see. We'll select that animation. We'll confirm it. And then let's just add one more. We'll create one more scene. We'll edit that. And this one, let's select a graphic, just like these lines. We'll confirm that. And then you can add effects to them. So like if we wanted to add a wave effect to that, we could add that. We could also, let's see, let's add a zoom effect. Let's see, let's add a rotation effect too. Let's just go totally crazy. Okay. And then confirm that. And now let's see, it'll go through these different scenes. Those are the two that were already there. This is going to be the animation that we selected. And then the graphic with the effects. I'm just going to touch really briefly on the DMX functions because they're a little bit anticlimactic after seeing everything that the Light Elf app can do. But on channel one, you can turn the laser on and off. 
on channel six, most importantly, you can access all the different patterns. So once you have a pattern that you've selected on channel two, there's all different color effects. Channel two and three both have different color effects. And then you can, on channel seven, control the speed of these patterns. And of course, anything that you've created, if you've created it in DMX, then you can select anything as a preset. This laser really does a lot, especially with the app control. And for under $200 at the link below, I think you're going to be happy with it. Please help my channel by subscribing, and thanks for watching.